Hi everyone, I'm Stella Chung, and on today's Daily Fix, PlayStation buys another new studio, Marvel's Avengers has a great new content roadmap, and Diablo 2 Remastered won't feature ultra-wide monitor support. It's fix time. <laughs> If you're keeping track of video game studio acquisitions this year, and who isn't, it's time to update your scoreboard once again. PlayStation just announced that they've purchased another studio, which is their third this year. Fired Sprite Studio, the team behind recent games like The Playroom, The Playroom VR, and the horror shooter The Persistence, is now officially a first-party Sony studio. In an announcement post, Fire Sprite Managing Director Graham Anker said, We've had the pleasure of working with many talented developers and publishers across the industry, and PlayStation, in particular, has been a friend and co-development partner for the best part of a decade. An interesting note about the studio is that Fire Sprite was formed by the members of the disbanded Sony Liverpool after it closed in 2012. So basically, they went from being a Sony studio to being an independent studio to being a Sony studio again. Firesprite says it plans to focus its new games on genres outside the current first-party Sony lineup, so it's safe to say they probably won't make a third-person narrative-driven action game about a sad father figure. Firesprite joins Housemark, developer of Returnal and Nixes, a Dutch studio that specializes in porting games to the PC, as the third-party acquisition Sony has made in 2021, bringing the grand total of studios in the Sony stable to 14. Up next, to celebrate the one-year anniversary of the Marvel's Avengers game being released, developer Crystal Dynamics released a new content roadmap for the rest of 2021, and a certain web-slinger still doesn't have a release date. Spider-Man is slated to be released sometime this year as a playable character in a new hero event exclusive to PlayStation players. Unfortunately, that's about all the detail Crystal Dynamics shared today. The team confirmed that their Spider-Man event will not be showcased in this week's PlayStation livestream, so don't expect to see him there tomorrow. What we do know is that new updates will start rolling out this month alongside some community activities, with the bigger content drops coming this fall and winter, including the game's first raid, known as Discordant Sound, which the team promises will be the most challenging stuff they've created so far. On top of that, future game updates will add quality of life things like increased level caps, new gear upgrade systems, and a streamlined approach to resources. Marvel's Avengers has struggled to maintain a large consistent audience despite being based on one of the most popular properties in history. So we'll see if this new content is enough to attract fresh players and keep the current crop satisfied. And finally, if you've got a nice big ultrawide monitor, don't expect to use every inch of it to play Diablo 2 Resurrected. The game won't feature ultrawide monitor support when it launches on September 23rd due to the discovery that wider screens break AI mechanics within the original game. On top of briefing players on changes that have been made to console lobbies and offering more insight to the removal of TCP slash IP support, which it dropped back in August, Blizzard also updated fans on the subject of ultrawide monitors and why players won't be able to utilize the full width of their 21 by 9 screens when the game launches. Apparently, this issue is caused by AI not registering players at distances available to those using 21 by 9 ultrawide screens, which probably isn't very fair to the AI. As with all things Activision Blizzard, it's worth noting that the company is currently facing serious ongoing allegations of harassment and mistreatment of marginalized workers as part of a massive lawsuit that we will continue to cover on IGN. And that was your Daily Fix. I'm Stella Chung, and for more news from other corners of the entertainment industry, check out the Daily Fix about movies and TV, and be sure to subscribe to IGN on Snapchat and all of our social media platforms. Thanks for watching. Stun double forearms, you know, because you know you, you wouldn't you wouldn't want him to risk injuring his arms while slamming down large stacks of paper on the desk, would you?